A good spray pattern means that the paint or another material that is sprayed is completely and evenly spread over the surface. In this video, we will show you the different techniques for a qualitative finish. We recommend you to practice on a test surface first. Start off with low pressure and increase the pressure gradually until you are satisfied with the spray pattern. This is a good spray pattern. You will notice that there are no runners and that the strokes are smooth and even. If your spray pattern shows so-called fingers and tails and an uneven finish as you see in this example, you will need to increase the pressure. Ideally, you keep the pressure as low as possible, as long as your spray pattern is okay. By keeping the pressure low, your pump and spray tip will wear out less quickly and will prevent overspray. The ideal distance between the gun and the surface is 30 centimeters. Always keep the gun perpendicularly pointed towards the surface. While you are making vertical or horizontal movements, the distance to the surface should remain the same. If you keep the gun tilted, you will get an uneven finish. Turn your wrist at the start and the end of your movement to obtain an even layer of paint. Don't tilt the gun, but make sure it always stays perpendicular towards the surface. It is recommended to first practice without spraying paint. Try to keep the gun pointed perpendicularly towards the surface at a distance of 5 centimeters. Notice how you will move your wrist automatically at the start and end of each spray movement. Then proceed to try again at a distance of 30 centimeters. Only work on the areas in one movement that are easy to reach. First spray the outer corners and make sure you don't pass the corners. Then point the gun towards the previous paint strip and make sure that with every vertical and horizontal movement, the previous and the new stroke overlap each other with 50%. Pull the trigger when you start a stroke and release the trigger right before you reach the end. Your arm needs to be moving before you pull the trigger and after you release it. This is how you will get a nice fusion around the spray pattern so that the next time you pass, you will get a perfect blend of paint between the two strokes. When you turn the tip guard, the spray pattern will change from vertical to horizontal or the other way around. When you are spraying wide and open surfaces like ceilings and bare walls, you should first spray the corners. You will notice the middle part will be finished much faster this way. For vertical corners, you can turn the tip guard in a manner that the spray tip can be found on the top of the tip guard. Point your gun towards the corner now. Spray the entire length of the corner and make sure you get on both sides the same amount of material. When you are painting, it is advised to always start at the top of the surface and work your way down. Start spraying roof corners and other overhanging elements. The direction in which you spray is determined by the construction. The rule is that you spray horizontally and tilt the tip slightly upwards to spray the bottom of the panel. With a little practice, you will soon be spraying like a pro with this easy to use paint sprayer. Point the gun towards the wall without lifting the gun up, down, or sideways. Make sure the gun is moving before you pull the trigger and after you release the trigger. Move the gun in a consistent pace, and when you spray, the strokes should always overlap for 